What is a good TRT dose for men looking to optimize their health? For starters, TRT needs to be individualized to the patient and it should only be taken as prescribed. Now there's no single TRT dosing protocol that's going to work for everyone, but I'm going to provide some guidelines that I use to dial my TRT patients in. This is going to be in regard to testosterone cypionate for injection. Now most men are going to be prescribed anywhere from 100 to 200 milligrams of testosterone per week. Now this is going to depend on their history, their labs, their goals, and their initial response to treatment. Ideally, we want to be on the lowest effective dose possible. We want all the benefits while minimizing the side effects and the risks. Like any drug, the higher the dose that you take, the higher the likelihood for side effects and risks. And contrary to popular belief, more testosterone isn't always better. You will eventually reach a point of diminishing returns. Now regardless of what the weekly dose is, the elimination half-life of testosterone cypionate is about 7 to 8 days. This means that if you're only injecting every seven days, and especially even longer than that, you're going to be spiking and crashing your levels and increasing the likelihood of side effects. For this reason, I generally recommend for my patients to break up their weekly dose into at least two doses, two smaller doses per week. This is also the protocol that I personally follow. Some of my patients prefer to split up their weekly dose into even more than two injections per week. I think that's perfectly reasonable if they feel better, but I don't think it's necessary in general. Now the next thing to consider is route, the route of the injection. Traditionally, testosterone was injected into the muscle using a very large needle that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Now injecting into the muscle is often required if you're injecting a large volume of fluid, more than half a milliliter, let's say. However, when you're microdosing, taking smaller volumes of fluid but more frequently, the subcutaneous or fat tissue is perfectly acceptable. Now there are pros and cons to both routes, which I won't get into in this video but I do generally recommend for most of my patients to utilize the subcutaneous route unless they have a personal preference for intramuscular. For subcutaneous TRT injections, I use 27 gauge insulin or TB needles and I use a testosterone ester suspended in MCT oil as it's less viscous. I hope these guidelines are useful. Obviously this is not medical advice. This is just for informational purposes only. Please do not change anything that was prescribed to you before talking to your provider. If you're in Florida and you want to work with me, Visit UnleashedMedical.com and schedule a complimentary one-on-one -on -one telemedicine consultation so we can see if we'd be a good fit for each other. We offer TRT transfer patient, veteran, and first responder discounts for men in Florida only. Please subscribe to this channel for more info on TRT. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.